The Braden River is used by a lot of people just trying to enjoy themselves through fishing or boating, but it's also sometimes used by people with bad intentions. There's motorboat theft, illegal fishing, and drugs moving through that river. It's possible that whoever killed Pat towed the boat out to the bay and dumped the boat and the body there, and then the boat drifted out to the gulf where it was ultimately discovered. To get from Pat's house to where his body was found, the boat would have had to move past two long bridges that cross over the bay. And one of these bridges is owned by the CSX Railroad, and it actually has cameras that pick up any boat going under it. Investigators contacted CSX and requested the footage, but the CSX employee sent them over a corrupted file. And when investigators tried to open the file themselves, it was still corrupted and couldn't be opened. So that footage was lost and its contents are unknown. But Jill Mullins has been very critical of the fact that the sheriff's office wasn't able to get the video footage from CSX, and the employee they corresponded with seemed eager to get the video to them. So why wasn't it done in a timely manner? If it had been, they might have been able to spot Pat. 